Dear Governor, dear Mr. President of Malawi, dear Prime Minister of Georgia, Prime Minister of Mongolia, Prime Minister of Deputy Prime Minister of the Russian Federation, Ministers of the Chinese Government, distinguished guests, members and partners, constituents of the World Economic Forum, in particular, dear co-chairs, a warm welcome to all of you. And ladies and gentlemen, we are living in an age of technological revolution, brought about by recent digital developments. And this is resulting in fast, disrupting, and fundamental changes of nearly every existing rules governing economies and societies. So we are really living in a revolutionary age. And with the speed at which change is happening, companies, economies, and nearly entire societies have little time to understand all these implications and to adapt. Because adapting, that means fast decision-making through processing an overwhelming amount of information. And to digest this fast, but in a structured way, world leaders such as you need a platform which offers both a curated flow of information and a protected space for contemplation. And that is the reason why we are here today. And we, that means 1,700 participants from 90 countries. And we have many different backgrounds. But we have at least two things together. First, we are always optimistic. Second, we are passionate by technology, by socioeconomic progress. And therefore, we are looking to develop more contextual intelligence about how to solve global pressing challenges through innovation. And along with our members and partners of the World Economic Forum, the community of new champions is, as every year, the core of this meeting. Global growth companies, young global leaders, global shapers, tech pioneers, social entrepreneurs and young scientists. And they all would like to inspire you by their unconventional ideas, and they would like to inspire you by their experimentation in cutting-edge technology. So we invite you to take a journey about interaction, exploration, so that at the end you can broaden your horizon and can go beyond your limit of the imagination. So finally, together, we can create new models of public-private cooperation in order to address global challenge and in order to solve most pressing challenges together with common actions. So again, that is the reason why we are here today. So I'm happy to announce that the nine annual meeting of new champion is now opened. Welcome to Dalian. And it's hard to imagine a more capable person to welcome us here at a meeting about science, technology and innovation than the governor of Liaoning, Chen Shufa. He is aerospace engineer and at the same time innovator at heart. So, dear Governor, the floor is yours. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, Good morning. In this golden spring, 
with a lot of fruits and the flowers. We gather together in this beautiful coastal city of Dalian to welcome the opening of the 2015 conference of World Economic Forum. And we have uh, participants from more than 90 countries and regions around the world, in total 1,700 1, leaders. We gathered together, entrusted by Secretary General Mr. Li on behalf of uh, the Liaoning government and also 43 million of uh, people in Liaoning to give a warm welcome to all the guests here. Since 2007, the Samo Davos was first convened in China. Dalian successfully hosted four of those sessions to let the world understand Liaoning and to let the world focus on Dalian. And uh, Dalian used to be an old industrial base, but we are developing very fast with a new look and new face. With this meeting, the international fame and the influence of Dalian is elevated. At the same time, we witnessed uh, together the growth of uh, Summer Davos. Summer Davos is of uh, greater contribution to global economic development, and it has a profound impact on the world economy. Dalian, as the host city in the past years, have integrated Davos spirit into its own growth. And we have attracted a lot of new pioneers into Dalian. And we try to integrate ourselves with the world market. The summer Davos has become a bridge for Dalian to go to the world. So we want to give a special thanks to Premier Li Keqiang, and our special thanks goes to Professor Klaus Schwab. And also, we, say we want to thank World Economic Forum for your trust. We want to thank all the government officials for supporting Dalian. At present, China's economy are facing the stage of industrialization, urbanization, informationization, agricultural modernization, and we are in a new stage of economic development. The traditional industries are speeding up with upgrading. New technology, new industries, new business models are coming up. This session and this forum focus on charting a new course, and we are discussing under the background of technical innovation factors Influ influencing China and the world economy, how to handle those uh, factors and the challenges. So this meeting is of a high and a profound significance. Charting a new cause, this new theme is a common concern for the world and for China. And also, this theme reflect the new normal of China's economy, a new trend of China's economy. Liaoning as an old industrial base is following the Central Communist Party and uh, State Council's instructions to promote rejuvenation of this uh, old industrial base. We want to seize the opportunity of one belt and one road and the Jing 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 integration strategies. We try to deepen our reform and uh, open wider to the outside world. We try to follow economic rules and to achieve scientific development. We try to follow the natural rules to achieve sustainable development. We try to follow social rules to achieve inclusive growth. We try our best to improve the systems and the structures so as to increase our internal vigor of development. We promote structural restructuring to enhance our economic development strengths. And we encourage entrepreneurship and try to ensure people have a better life, to let more people to enjoy the, the benefits of growth fairly. By 2020, GDP for the governor and the per capita income of uh, the citizens will double as compared to 2010, and we will ensure the society enter a well-being society. And the industrialization stage shall arrive at the first stage goals of uh, manufacturing in China 2025. 
we sincerely welcome all the new pioneers around the world to participate in the rejuvenization of Liaoning's old industrial base. We welcome you to invest in the high-tech industry and the new strategic industries in Liaoning and develop modern service and modern agricultural industry in Liaoning. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, and we will try to honor your trust of uh, WEF and honor the support of uh, all the friends. And we will try to stick to the concept of uh, safe sustainability, green and environmental friendly to provide uh, better services to WEF every year. And we try to turn this event into a successful event. Lastly, I sincerely wish this event a full success. I wish you to look around in Liaoning and wish all of you, all the friends here, to have a happy and a healthy stay in Dalian. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Thank you,